Good morning, everybody. This is Calypso. I will be casting the first match here of Just for Lulz versus Calypsus. And there was a drop, so we are going to be remaking the game. Excellent. Go ahead and exit out the game here, and we'll be restarting this shortly. Battle.net 2.0 at its finest. As you can see, Blue Frog won that match with 3,450 points overall. MVP goes to Blue Frog. waiting on the invite. Wootless is pending. There we go. Okay, game number one should be starting right about now. Alright, JFL, we've got Woodles, Big Bad Dad, Eugene, Simply Spade, Speed Bump, and Wildfire. They've gone with the one Destroyer, one Battle Cruiser, Overlord, two Guardian, and one Carrier. Carrier's taking the outside lane, Guardians are going up the center. Overlord has started with Plague. Now, on Eclipsis we got also two Guardians. They're hanging back. Looks like they're waiting for warp. We got a Leviathan, two battle cruisers, and a carrier. The carrier opened up a mixture of laser and interceptor. Battle cruisers went standard in-house range build with one missile. Now the Leviathan opened four tentacles. That's interesting to me. Usually you'll want to open up with the constant mutation on the Leviathan. and farm build for the Guardians. On JFL, the Destroyer went one armor and four lasers. BBD on the Battlecruiser opened up standard and now it's built. Now they're launching on Maw battlecruiser for eclipses. He's also already pretty weak due to the plague. I don't think they realize the leviathan's up at the top left here. And a launch on wildfire from eclipses. B 
DVD's getting kind of low. Both teams running a no support composition, which I think is pretty interesting. Skywalker getting launched on. The shields are almost down. Biathon just have enough farming field day over there. Let's look at the farming scores. So currently, that's about even. Eclipsis is a little bit behind, but honestly, it's not that much. BBD with the shields completely gone. Wildfire is a little weak too. Simply is a little weak. Speed bump's doing okay. Skywalker and BBD's shields are both gone. So far, they're both playing pretty safe. They're both at mid. Uh, okay, now they're grouping up. They're pushing. And they're going to go for big, big bad dad here. Now the lead guardian's getting pretty low, so this might not... Okay, and Wudos comes in to cover. They got to back off. Now their carrier is completely untouched on Eclipsis, so he can stay out and farm more. That, that might go in their advantage. Update on the farm scores here. Uh, Eclipsis has caught back up. They're actually in the lead right now. No surprise with them having a Leviathan. But they're getting pushed back now by JFL. Clock is 7.20. And now a counter push by Eclipsis. Big Bad Dad, again the target. But, okay, they got to back off. Yeah, they weren't going to get him. So it's interesting to see what's going to come out of this. Both Guardians, I assume, are going to go, on both teams, are going to go Brood Lords. Did Bad Dad taking some more damage? Eclipse is playing pretty aggressive here, actually. They're... I think it's funny, but both the outside lanes are both at full health. <laughs> okay, so Eclipse is going... Oh, nope, counter push. Speed bump is in trouble. His reaction time was very slow on that one. And plague goes down, they're gonna have to back off. Close one there. Speed bump could have gotten killed. Update on the farming scores while they're going back to base. Eclipsis at 1120. And JFL at 1163. So very close game in farm here. Wildfire's not doing too well on the farm. He's got the lowest farm in the game. Upgrade complete. 
No surprise, Blue Frog the Viathon is Upgrade. farming the best. He's still out here. And Upgrade. Moodles the Destroyer on JFL. That's the best farm. It's pretty good. So he'll probably probably go into siege. Oh no, he's going into mines. Speed bump up to, to Scourge. Spade also up to Scourge. Anabolic. Speed bump, I don't think had enough Anabolic, but that's okay. Wildfire. Uh, looks like he just upped his move speed and uh, for two shot farm. BBD is up to 10 range. Up shields and armor. Blue Frog, 10 Bile Swarm at 9 range. That's pretty good. Skywalker up his missiles. And he's still at 9 range. Scourge and Anabolic. Scourge and Anabolic. So it looks like Scourge Guardians on both teams. Ma has 5 missiles in 9 range. So. Wheels has 7 lasers. Mines. Firestorm up to 12 interceptors. And it looks like Speed Bump's in trouble again. But he's going to get away scot-free. Scourge going down. Double Scourge. Really good. Really good. Looks like Skywalker. Eugene has Vortex feedback. So he's going more utility carrier. Scourge going down on Ma. But BBD is in trouble. Looks like Scourge going down on him. Double Scourge. Oh, wow. Tons of damage. More Scourges coming. Double Scourge looks like on speed bump. Oh, and we got some lag from Wildfire. Typical. Lower demographic settings, Wildfire, and then we'll talk. Speed Bump is in trouble. Double Scourge going down on him. It might be curtains for him. Oh. And he lives, amazingly. Double Scourge going down on Simply Spade. It will not kill him, but it will still do tons of damage. At this point, it looks like Eclipsis is dominant. Their double scourge method is actually doing a lot better, simply because Speed Bump couldn't get anabolic. He didn't have enough for anabolic, so he couldn't spam it like they can. Woodles with 500 energy. Wow. He's spamming them. Mines are at, well, still level zero, but... It's fine, it's more than for map control. So let's get an update on the farming score here. 1529 to 1430. So they're about 100 more on Eclipses. But that's because they were be they were able to push harder due to the double scourge. Skywalker made a quick back to the base. He's at 1.7 speed and 9 range still. He has locked down. Blue Frog's up to 12 while and 10 range. Gene is doing really well on farm for JFL. He's almost as much as Blue Frog. Not quite, but almost. So it's still anybody's game at this point. I think the advantage of the mines might help them later on for JFL. They've got map control. They can't see everything, but everywhere that the mines are they can see on the map. 
that's what they're using them for at this point. Uh, they don't. They, however, Eclipse this has two battle cruisers for scan, which I'm sure they'll get eventually, if not on this next bag. And wildfire likes again. Speed bump have, still has no anabolic synthesis. Lockdown on Eugene. I think they realize he has Vortex with the 325 energy that he has. Carriers at 17 interceptors. That is going to hurt a lot. BBD with no lockdown. And there's a scan. Double scourge on speed bump. Interceptor launch on wildfire. Wildfire has Psy Blast. It's not doing too much damage. Those interceptors are eating him alive. Mines are still at... Well, no, they're at level 2 now, so... He's getting there. Gene has 11 interceptors, feedback, Vortex. I think they're sticking with the Scourge spam. Oh! Scourge is going down. Speed bump and simply counter scourge launch. Blue frog's taking a lot of damage. Ooh, wildfire is in the red. He needs to back off. At this point, I would say Firestorm would need to click back and get the Graviton Catapult for those Interceptors because they're still firing really, really slow. And yeah, the Eclipsus is backing off. They're going for their 20-minute ups. JFL. Looks like they've got their 20-minute ups already. Yeah. So they're good. Well, BBD needs to go back and get two more lasers. I'm sure he's got some farm to spend, too. Shout out to the six people watching this stream right now. Update on the farming. Eclipse has 2119 to JFL's 1965. So the advantages is in Eclipses right now. They simply have more pushing power due to the nature of the spammable. But here we go. We got a counter push by JFL and launch on Wildfire. Simply Spade is gonna in the red. Oh, he's in trouble. Ma's in the red. So is I'm a ninja. Oh, Simply Spade goes down. is currently 5 to 6 in Eclipse's favor. They are scanning the mines and clearing them out. The jig is up, JFL. Level 2 mines still. So that definitely puts them at a disadvantage. One of the big parts of this build was the double scourge and they just lost one of their actually their most scourging guard because Speed Bump at the, until this point didn't have anabolic. Meanwhile, both of their uh, their guardians did have anabolic and scourge.
still yet to see a vortex in this game. No vortex for them, he's just going straight interceptors. is taking some damage from the interceptors. Heavily, heavily in Eclipse's favor right now. Scan going down. Scanning for those last couple mines. He's going to find them. Lock down on Eugene. Oh, wildfire. It's in deep, deep trouble. He needs to fall back. Same with Woodles. He's taking some damage. Uh oh. Woodles might go down right here. It's double scourge on Woodles. I think this is curtains for you, buddy. Unless he's got. Oh! He survived. He stalled right there, but he survived. Skywalker taking turret damage like a pro. And constant lockdowns going on in Eugene. He will not be able to get a vortex off anytime soon. Eclipsis is dominating in this match. Straight DPS. And they're all quick backing. All right, JFL pushing out, trying to farm a little bit more. Okay, so he's saying that Destroyer is parasited, so they can... Parasite, for those who don't know, um, they can, the enemy team can see the parasited unit at all times, even in the fog of war. So they can see that he's laying mines down. That was very smart of them to parasite the destroyer. A real major upgrades from the Leviathan. He stayed at 13 Bioswarm. Gene keep getting locked down. The problem with this too is that they have two energy denial ships. BBD does not have lockdown. Which I think is a no-no. Especially with as much energy now as we going out in Firestorm. Uh, still just Interceptor, straight DPS. No, no Vortex, no feedback. 200 energy. Interceptor launch, probably on Wildfire. Yeah, those Interceptors aren't going to stand a chance. BBD is getting kind of low. Scourge launching a scan. I do not see this game ending well for JFL. This build that they are going up against completely counters theirs. Two scans for the mines. Lockdowns for the... For, uh oh, and here we go. Eugene might be going down here. Eh, not quite. Not quite. Well, no, no. The interceptors are on him. Ah, but he makes it. He makes it. And they're going for a tower, which they will more than likely get right here. Yeah, that tower's gone. Very smart, 2BC, constant scans, constant lockdowns, very smart. They're almost all at full health. And JFL's barely pushed out of their base and they're all almost at half. Simultaneous lockdown. I love that. Oh, 
locked down on the carrier. I don't think we'll ever see a vortex in this game, actually, unless Firestorm decides to. Because Eugene is the focus for the energy dial on this. Thing, they know they know what he's trying to do. It's no secret. Meanwhile, the Guardians can just sit back behind everything and scourge everything to death. Getting a little bit of lag. Man. So much damage. So much damage. They're winning the trade scenario here. They're able to scourge, interceptor, and everything. And JFL was counting on the mines and their scourge to do the same thing, but they lost their other guardian and they are not able to dish out as much damage. Unless they unless the blue team does something incredibly stupid, I don't see them losing this game. Let's look at the farm scores here. 34, 45, 22, 73. Now they are down the ship, so, but that's still quite, quite a difference. Blue Frog with 887 farm. That's ridiculous. He's about to go into crazy face roll mode here. Five hundred and fifty energy. I think he's gonna go with corruptor spam, and indeed he is. Level five corruptors. Eugene's trying desperately to get away from this lockdown coming from Skywalker. As you can see, Skywalker ship clicked it, and he said, "Screw that." Seven speed for the carrier. One seven. And he's shift clicked it again. <laughs> I'm gonna lock you down, Eugene. <laughs> Interceptor launch on wildfire, but they're not gonna last too long. I still do quite a lot of damage, though. Wow. What are they at? 23. Level 23 interceptors. That's so ridiculous. And there goes a contaminate. No. Sorry, that was acid spray. Sorry. DVD is in trouble. He'll probably live. Oh, and the game is getting super laggy now. So much action on the screen. So much action. Oh, this tower is going down. Unless they're able to save it. Looks like they'll be able to salvage the tower. Good save by JFL. And a feedback gun. There we go. Feeding back a Scourge. Scourge Guardians, but with Anabolic it really doesn't matter. We'll just get that energy back in no time. So Ninja went with Corrosive Acid and Eddie the Scourging. I thought I saw them saying something about spines. So many scourges, my goodness. Speed bump is in trouble. He's getting scourges and interceptors. Oh, he might go down here. Speed bump's in trouble. He's in the red. He's in the red. Oh. And speed bump's dead. The other silence vessel went down, looks like. Blue Frog had Corruptors all over it. Between the Corruptors and its missiles, he ate that power to shreds. And Wildfire is probably going to die right here. Oh my goodness! So close. And the last ditch effort was on Siege Mode for the Destroyer. Uh, 16 range. And nine ups to that. So he's doing 1290 per shot on that siege mode. 
That's pretty good. That Leviathan's gonna be a little bit too beefy for that. He's got 8 armor and 1500 hit points. Battle Cruiser has defensive shield. Missile boat, missile boat, not missile boat. BBD finally got defensive shield as well. I don't know how well that's gonna do for him with double scourges on him all the time. The next target I would assume would be for the scourge guardian would be either the carrier or the destroyer. Because honestly, the overlord's not doing too much. Plague is a little outclassed at this point. And the pink goes down. I'm thinking because they saw the parasite and then he's laying mines. That's probably what they were picking. Who's the red? Skywalker. Yeah. So yeah, not only do they have two scans, they also have acid spray by the Leviathan that can just, with 600 energy that can just randomly, see, just randomly spray and destroy the mines. Carrier says, I don't need no vortex, I got straight up interceptors, punk. So, no Broodlords still. Oh, wow. Getting laggy again. I don't know guys, we only got 20 minutes to finish this game or else it ends in a tie. So I think JFL is going to be uh, trying to drag this out as much as possible. To be honest with you, they got two towers down. They got all six ships left on the enemy team. They got nothing to stop the missiles from Skywalker. They got nothing to stop the missiles from the Levy. 20 missiles at 11 range. If anything, they can just kill the mothership or the uh, command center. Constant scanning is for uh, making sure they're not going to get warp trick. But even if they did, it'd be four versus six. They wouldn't be able to warp trick and get him out of this situation anyway. So much lag. Oh my goodness. And the upgraded creep is going in. It's bad for Woodles because he can't do anything but try and hold position so the siege mode doesn't kill his teammates. Clips is backing off, waiting for their last guardian to come out and join the, the fight so they can make the final push. Actually, the last two guardians, so I'm guessing he's waiting for warp, which is off cooldown now, and he should be warping. There he goes. And Blue Fox is warping back. Okay. They could end it right here, right now. But the Leviathan's going back to base for. What? Frenzy? Frenzy indeed. They're looking to end this right here, right now. Oh, and there come the Broodlords. 
Level 7, that's pretty decent. So much lag! Skywalker's actually taking a pretty good bit of damage there. The genius that interceptors throw out the dwarfs. <laughs> Can we just text them and kill the CC? They realize what they're doing. They're turtling and trying to hold out for 15 minutes, which I don't see happening anytime soon. As long as this... Okay, there's the Leviathan. All he has to do is lay down a ton of corruptors, push in... Oh, Ma's getting hit pretty hard. So much lag, so much lag. I can't tell what's going on! Oh! BBD goes down, Wildfire goes down, Oodles goes down. Ah, that's why it was lagging. Wildfire was trying to use the ultimate of the Overlord. There it goes, a Tex. Oodles goes down while the Wildfire is dead. Eugene is hanging on for dear life. There come some scourges. And there goes the frenzied Leviathan and sorry Eugene. Good night. Game one goes to Eclipsis. GG!
Channel switched. What's up, homies? Alright. Rough game, man. Yeah, that, that, that chase cost us there. They switched targets on me. Yeah, rough rough game. <laughs> like, like, I called I call it. I'm like, let's stay on the T. We'll kill the BC and get out of here. And then they switched it. Man, um, yeah, their build just countered yours. That's all. Two BCs with constant scan. You guys are trying to go for mines, and they you had two BCs. And the levy. So, there's yeah. where speed bump burped. Um. Yeah, speed bump almost died on the first push, too. You got, you, him you, and BBD. Yeah, they both got cut, to, cut out of position pretty bad. Trying to find that spot where they were... That, that chase. I mean, because I swear to God, I, I told everyone, from BC, he's in yellow, he's dying off, let's kill him. And then yeah. all of a sudden I hear, no, 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 Blue Frog's on the right, let's kill him. No, not Blue died. Frog, he was too powerful that, by that point. Yeah, I mean, that was the whole deal, I mean, nobody freaking listened, and I mean, that's, we can't have that. Is it, uh, on the first couple, I actually don't know, are the first couple matches uh, best of three or best for, or just best of one? No, uh, they're best of one, group uh, stages, regular group stages. Bummer. Who is your next uh, opponent? I mean, we, we won farm up until that point. We were ahead on farm. We were winning the game. If we wouldn't have lost simply, we could have won it still. I mean, yeah, that was a, a big part of that, and also uh, speed bump didn't get anabolic until like much much later. Like uh, both yeah. both of their guards had anabolic like uh, after the first bag, so they could spam the scourge like nonstop, and they were they were eating you guys alive. There's a few times that should have turned better. I don't. Yeah. Know, I don't I don't like playing the Overlord very much. I mean, it's so... Yeah, it's... it's just like you just have no farm whatsoever. You honestly... F I didn't. Yeah, you didn't. I checked on the farm scores a few times uh, in that match, and... Uh, yeah, I, you, got the, I got up to 300. Your, your, your yeah, farm you was pretty good. You know those Rex arms out for the farm? Never quite able to reach it. <laughs> yeah, so I mean... Like, I mean, I did a good job. I kept everything low. I actually saved Speed Bump there once with a plague during a lag burst. It was insane. I would have gotten a Contaminate over that Psy ability. Uh, that Psy ability is fucking nice. Yeah, Psy Blast is really broken now, especially against Zerg when you have enough Oh, uh, true. The problem yeah. is, you need one for it. Is, is that why you got it? Because of the levy or, or for, for the well, guardians? Well, the guards. I mean, the guards were so weak that I thought I could pick one off almost mm. during a chase with it. I mean, two scourges and a side blast or two, and the guy would be dead. I was trying to keep my eye on everything, but I didn't. Uh, the only time I ever saw you use it was against like the, one of the battle cruisers. And it, yeah. it didn't really do much. It did. It did a thousand. Or wait, it was, uh, I think it was the, the carrier, actually. Nice touch at the end there with the uh, the ultimate. It made it made my shit lag so hard. Did you see that on the stream? My, I was at one frame per second that whole time there. Yeah. Man. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I'm sitting there like, God, this sucks. Um. So yeah, we're still. I mean, it's even in farm. Up at the 15 minute mark. The BCs went missile instead of energy denial, so I mean, that was us. Yeah. One of the things. BBD didn't have any farm. Um, are you, guys, are you guys playing next, uh, next match, or you, you gotta buy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Who's it against? Peters and Laggers. Peters and Laggers. Peters and Laggers. Is that on, is that on EU, or is it, a? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, EU. I probably won't cast that one then. I mean, there, there was just... God. 
I haven't seen that much pushing and pulling in a build in a long time. You guys were actually or winning in farm. You guys were winning in farm uh, the first couple. Uh, we were winning up to about the time we lost simply. Yeah. Um, 17 minute mark and we're 50 behind. Uh, and it was really even. I mean, the mines were keeping them off. Yeah, it was still it was still anybody's game at the at that point. And then when simply went down, I was like, well, that's pretty much it. The 17 inch. I mean, that was, that was the main thing. We didn't go enough to counter the ends. PVD didn't get, didn't get enough farm. I didn't get enough farm. I wanted Boodles to just be OP. That was a whole deal. I don't know, Eugene said he thought we played too aggressive. Well, when you've got their copies and we're just yours, you need to be a little aggressive. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, we had the DPS to kill people, we just, we never ran it. I mean, especially with Adestro, I mean, even though he was going mines, he's still out of the tanks, so, you know? What the fuck was that? We must just missed a whole fucking wad of them. Where are we? Where are we? I mean, the game's starting in six minutes. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and switch over to EU. Yeah, I'll get out of this channel so you guys can strat and I won't have it on the stream. I'll put it in there, shut the stream down too since I, uh, I can't cast at you at the moment. He honestly, yeah, he did, I checked on the farm scores two times. User left your channel. Alright guys, I'm going to shut the stream down for a little bit. Uh, I gotta get some EU keys figured out for the moment. Uh, but we'll be back pretty soon. Yeah, I'm talking to four people. Woo! Okay. Um. Oh, I meant to.